Hello everyone and welcome to Recap V. Today we'll be talking about a movie called Mongol, The Rise of Genghis Khan. The Rise of Genghis Khan is a 2007 period epic film directed by Sergei Bodrov, about the early life of Temujin, who later came to be known as Genghis Khan. Watch out for spoilers and let us begin. The story starts in 1192 where we see, Temujin, a prisoner in the Tongud kingdom, recounts his story through a series of flashbacks. Embarking on an expedition 20 years earlier in 1172, where we see nine-year-old Temujin is accompanied by his father, Yeshuge, to select a girl as his future wife. The boy is put to choose one of the girls and he chooses Bort. The girl accepts, and the two families decide for them to get married in five years. Then they start going home, and on their way there, they stop because they are scared of the thunder. His father then explains that it thunders when their god Tungri, is angry, and that all Mongols fear the thunder. The next day, as they are riding they encounter an enemy tribe camping and eating. Yesuj says that Mongols do not spill blood at a resting place, and then they sit some distance away from them, to rest as well. The other tribe, gives them a cup of milk, and they do the same. For the two tribe leaders to drink, as part of their customs. But after they start riding again, we see that the enemy tribe had poisoned Yeshuge. On his dying breath, he tells his son that he is now Khan. However, Targutai, Yeshuge's lieutenant, proclaims himself as Khan. He along with the other tribe members, betray Yeshuge's family, and start looting their stuff. Targutai decides to kill the boy, fearing he will take revenge on him. But is prevented from doing so by the boy's mother, and the other tribe members, saying that Mongols don't kill children. He lets the boy go and vows to kill him as soon as he becomes an adult, saying he will come for the boy in winter. His mother, then makes the boy run away as far as he can. And after this we see him running through the snow, and a frozen lake which breaks, and he falls. Then he drowns, to death, and this is where the movie ends hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm just joking, he is rescued by a boy called Jamika, with which he quickly becomes friends and they take an oath as blood brothers. He joins their family. But sadly, after some time, Targutai finds and captures him. He then measures the boy and sees that he isn't grown enough to be seen as an adult, and makes an old man take care of him till the time comes. But of course, the boy manages to escape. We then get a time skip and go to the year 1186, where we see the boy all grown up, but we also see his running away from Targutai's man who managed to find him. They capture him, but he again manages to escape. He finds a man who gives him a horse, and who knew who he was. He then rides to Bort, but is unsure if she is still willing to marry him. But, thankfully she does, and the two of them then ride to his family, for him to introduce her to them. Later that night, they are attacked by the Merkit tribe. Looking for Temujin and Bort. However, the two of them aren't there. As we see that they have left, and as they are resting, they hear the tribe riding towards them. Sadly Temujin is shot in the back with an arrow, so Bort makes the horse ride him to his mother's home, while she herself gets captured. Unable to defeat the tribe on his own, he goes to his brother, Jamika, who is now his tribe's Khan, and seeks his help in rescuing his wife. Jamika agrees, and after a year, they launch an attack on the Merkits. They are successful on their mission, and rescue the girl. In the night as they celebrate their victory, Temujin demonstrates his generosity by allowing his troops to take an equal share of the plunder. And then says that he will leave with his tribe. His brother tries to stop him, but is unable to as the next morning he is gone. But he also sees that two of his men are missing. He starts riding towards Temujin's tribe, and sees the two men. When he asks them why they deserted him. They say that they see Temujin as a better leader than him, as he split all his winnings amongst his warriors. Jamika seemed disappointed but lets them go when his brother says that Mongols are allowed to decide for themselves. Jamika's man then asks them to give them their horses back, but they don't, which angers Jamika even more. Days after, Jamika sends one of his men to take his horses back. Temujin's man, kill the guy thinking he's a thief, but then we see that he was actually Jamika's biological brother. Leaving Jamika with no choice but to declare war on him. Jamika is approached by Targutai, and the two of them join up forces to kill Temujin and his clan. They manage to find Temujin's tribe riding, 
and they slowly start going after them, giving time for the elderly, women, and children to get away. But the man also take this time to prepare a line of defense. The three tribes start to battle, but Temujin and his man, outnumbered lose, and he gets captured. Jamaka not wanting to kill his brother, makes him a slave, and sells him off. After some time, Temujin is sold to a Tongut nobleman, despite the dire warning given to him by a Buddhist monk, acting as his advisor, who senses the great potential the warrior carries and his future role in subjugating the Tongut state. The nobleman simply laughs at the monk, and, to prove that Temujin can't do a thing, he imprisons him, on top of the city cell, like an animal in a zoo, for entertainment. While he is imprisoned, the monk pleads with him to spare his monastery when he will destroy the kingdom sometime in the future. Temujin agrees to this in exchange for the monk to deliver a bone fragment to Bort, indicating that he is still alive. The monk succeeds in delivering the bone and the message at the cost of his life. Bort then infiltrates the town disguised as a merchant's concubine and the two escape. After this in 1196 Temujin manages to unify a large number of tribes, creating an army, and pledges to unify all of the Mongol tribes and imposes three basic laws for them to abide to, never kill women and children, always honor your promises and repay your debts, and never betray your Khan. At the same time his brother Jamaka, has managed to create his own army, which is even greater than Temujin, to stop him from unifying all of the Mongols. The two men start a battle against each other. However during the battle, a thunderstorm arises, terrifying Jamaka's and Temujin's armies, who cower in fear. But Temujin doesn't cower, and when his army sees him riding unafraid, they're inspired to also be fearless and charge Jamaka's helpless and cowering army, which surrenders immediately. After this Targutai is killed by his own soldiers and his body is presented to the Khan as a way of appeasing him, but they are executed for disobeying the law. Temujin, then goes to talk to his brother, who asks him why does he not fear the thunder, like all the Mongols. Which he simply replies, that he had no way to hide from it, so he learned how to live with it. Temujin allows Jamaka to live and brings the latter's army under his banner. And this is where the movie ends, hope you all enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment on what you think about it, and don't forget to subscribe, so I can make more recaps of movies, TV shows, animes, etc. See you all, on the next video.